Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer, and in this short video, we're going to talk about the difference between fixed bobbers and slip bobbers and uh, when to use each of them. So, you know, a lot of times when you're going fishing with a bobber, it, it doesn't matter which type of bobber you're, you're going to use. I mean, if you're fishing shallow water. But there are times when the difference between these two bobbers is going to make a really big difference. So let's start with the fixed bobbers. And incidentally, there's all kinds of different bobbers out there, but they usually fall into two categories, either fixed bobbers or slip bobbers. So, you know, that's kind of how we're going to classify them for this video. So the fixed type bobbers are bobbers that you clip, um twist that's usually you know the main ways to, to attach them to their your line so I mean you know how to hook on a fix uh, a fixed bobber they've a lot of most of them have this little clamp on top you put your line in it that's how you attach it to the bobber you usually use a fixed bobber when you're fishing shallower water water like one to four feet deep that's kind of the max um, because if, if it's any deeper, you can't set your bobber high enough. Otherwise, you're up over your head trying to make a cast. The real time that the fixed bobber makes a big difference, when it excels, is when you're casting and retrieving. Because the fixed bobber is going to allow you to fish at a set depth on uh, your whole retrieve back. So if I cast this out and I work it back reasonably slowly, I'm going to be able to fish a fixed depth the whole way back unless I really burn the bait back in which case this will lift up at, you know from the water drag but for the most part as I'm working my bait back to the boat I'll be able to stay at this depth the whole way so that's really important for the cast and retrieve because that is not going to be the case with the slip bobber so the slip bobber also allows you to fish at a fixed depth you in, um, instead of clamping your line to the bobber you set a bobber stop and you just run the bobber through your line and slip bobbers are going to excel when you're fishing deeper water because because you use a bobber stop you can reel that right up into the spool and uh, you're you're able to fish a slip bobber in 20 plus feet of water the the big difference comes in when you're retrieving the bait when you're retrieving a slip bobber because the line is able to run through the bottom what's going to happen unless you're reeling ultra slow is as you reel in the line is going to run through that bobber and you're going to get shallower and shallower it's not going to allow you to as easily fish at a fixed depth so a lot of times when you're casting and retrieving you're working like weeds you want to keep that bait two feet down three feet down so you're right over the top of the weeds that's where the fixed bobber is going to work really well because uh, the slip bobber won't work as well again because as you reel it in the line is going to slide through that bobber and it's going to get you shallower and shallower as you reel into the boat so if you're just fishing shallow water you're just going to sit there let your bobber sit both both types of bobbers work really well if you're going to fish deep water slip bobber is the only way to go especially if the depth is 10 feet or more you, you just can't set that kind of depth with the fixed bobber you need the slip bobber the ability to cast to retrieve is, is kind of the biggest difference between the two when you're in cast and retrieve uh, situations you're going to use the fixed bobber if you're fishing shallow water you can use either bobber then if you're fishing deeper water you're going to want to go with the slip bobber type rig so that those are the main differences uh, the main differences in the situations you're going to use them so if you don't know how to tie a slip bobber I did a video on that um, I'll link to that to the description also if you want to see some of the lures that I'm going to use underneath these bobbers I've done a lot of videos on different lures I'll also link to one of those so hope this video helped you if it did uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next video